2010 white MacBook LCD assembly replacement. Start by removing 8 Phillips head screws that will release the logic board cover. Once the screws have been removed, you can gently lift the cover up and move it out of the way. Disconnect the battery. Start off by removing the four Phillips head screws that are holding down the vent. Next, remove the four T8 screws that are in the rear of the vent. Please note that the speaker doesn't have to come all the way out, but the Wi-Fi antennas have to be disconnected. Remove the DVD uh, drive side Phillips head screw. It's difficult to get to. Next, disconnect the Wi-Fi cable. Remove the second Phillips head screw that's securing the speaker. Now remove the Wi-Fi antenna cable Phillips head screw. You can now go ahead and remove the three Wi-Fi antenna cables that are hooked up to the speaker. Once those connections are removed, you can start the LCD assembly removal. Disconnect the LVDS cable first. Flip the MacBook on its side and open it up. You now have access to two T8 screws, one on each hinge. Go ahead and remove those. That will release the LCD assembly. Gently pry out the LCD assembly, separating it from the rest of the MacBook. LCD assembly reinstallation. Lift the MacBook upwards and reinsert the LCD assembly into the MacBook. Reinstall the two T8 screws, one on each hinge. Reinstalling the speaker. Bend the speaker screw bracket and put the screw in. This will make it easier to align it with the hole on the DVD drive. Place the speaker into its slot and secure it with one DVD drive screw. Reconnect the second speaker Phillips head screw. Now reconnect the Wi-Fi antenna cable Phillips head screw. Go ahead and reconnect the three Wi-Fi antenna cables. At this time you can also place in the Wi-Fi cable. Tighten the T8 screws on each hinge so that the screen, screen is not flimsy. Reconnect the LVDS cable.
placed the vent back onto the MacBook. Start by securing it with four Phillips head screws. Now the four T8 screws. Reconnect the battery. Place the cover back on and secure it with eight Phillips head screws. It is highly suggested to perform an NVRAM reset after every internal modification.